The Universal Audio Oxbox was one of the big purchases for my studio last year. After six months of recording with the Oxbox, would I recommend it to you? Let's find out. Hey guys, Scott Poley here. I'm a session guitarist and pedal steel player. I also produce and write music. So firstly, what is an aux amp top box? Well, the unit performs a number of different functions. Firstly, the aux box is an attenuator. It sits between the power amp output of your amplifier and your speaker cabinet and allows you to run your tube amp nice and loud, getting that warm tube saturation, but turn down the volume coming out of the speakers. The Oxbox only works with tube amps, so if your amp has a transistor power output, it's not for you. To set up the Oxbox, plug the power amp output from your amplifier into the Oxbox, making sure that the ohmage level on the Oxbox is set to match that being provided by your amplifier. Then take the speaker output of the Oxbox into your speaker cab. The Ox also acts as a load box. It's able to completely mute all of the sound coming out of the speakers of your amplifier, soaking up all the power, which is perfect for silent practice and recording. Now, the reason I bought the Oxbox is it's a perfect solution for recording guitars in this fairly small room. Previously in demos that I've produced on my channel, you'll have heard amps like my little Walter 50 watt head up there, which is just the most incredible amplifier, but it's 50 watts and it's, it's stonkingly loud in here. It's, it's, it's not good for my hearing. So rather than build something like an ISO cab that I've used and never really been that much of a fan of, the Oxbox is a perfect solution. It allows me to record guitars completely silently or at least really quiet sound coming out of the speakers, but has speaker emulations, microphone emulations, room emulations and outboard gear emulations all built in and the universal audio sounds are just staggering. On the front panel of the Oxbox, you have some simple controls, a preset switch allowing you to select from six different presets, a room level, a line output level which controls the main output level, a headphone output and a headphone level, and also the overall speaker volume for the volume coming out of the amplifier speakers. The Ox is controlled by the Universal Audio Ox app which is downloadable from the Apple App Store for Mac. It's available on the iPad and also on Windows.
It's a staggering piece of kit, the Oxbox. I recommend it to anyone. It's brilliant. The sounds are fantastic. It sounds exactly like a real mic'd up speaker cab. It's 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 brilliant. There are a few things I'd change though. I don't understand why the Ox just has jack outputs on the back. Using studio gear all the time, surely the Oxbox should be fitted with XLR outputs in addition to the jacks or one of the combination Neutrik XLR jack type connectors. I'm not the biggest fan of the fact that you can't program new sounds directly on the Oxbox without using an app. Sure, you can recall from six different presets, which is absolutely fine. I've, I've never had a problem with it as such, but at the same time, it would be nice to not have to carry an iPad or my Mac with me to a studio session to program a new sound. In. I would like to see an effects loop send and return built into the Oxbox. It's not a feature that's available on there. I know it is on the Boss Waza Tube Expander, and I think it's a great idea, and it, it should, in my opinion, be on the Ox. It would be great to be able to incorporate outboard gear into a separate send and return, and to have that selectable within the software would be absolutely ideal. Is it good value for money? It's an expensive piece of kit, but if you think of the practicality of buying a load of different speaker cabs, a load of different mics, having a room to be able to run these things loud. I think the Oxbox is, is an absolute winner for small studios and people who record guitars regularly. I absolutely love the thing. I can't recommend it enough. Thanks so much for watching this video. I've been Scott Poley. I'd love it if you consider liking this video, if you've got value out of it. Subscribe to the channel. I post videos weekly where possible. Ring the bell icon, it will let you know when I release new videos. If you found a lot of value and you want to contribute to the channel, check out the super thanks button below. Really helps me and helps the channel. So thanks so much for watching. Leave a note down in the comments. I'll catch you next time.